And so what have we learned from this? I, I think that what we've learned is some of the steps we have to take to do this right in the future. We've mentioned the reproducible research, the need for carefully documenting the methods. What does it tell you that it took so long? <laughs> um, to a certain extent, it uh, tells me that it's hard to get corrections published in science. That part of things is not working as smoothly as it should. And it actually needs to be easier to make critiques public. But I, I think one of the challenges here, and I think it's, it's a place that will improve, is how to help institutional review boards, IRBs, make decisions on which clinical trials to allow. I the mean, IRBs are the boards that decide whether clinical trials should go forward, whether this kind of work should be done in human beings. Exactly. And they're the ones charged with, you know, protecting patients who participate in clinical trials. So they have to review the science. They have to review what kinds of things are going to be done to ensure that, that patients aren't going to be harmed and that there's a reasonable chance that we will learn useful new science out of the trials. One of the points that's been made over and over in meetings that we've had now is that there's a need for an increase in the rigor of team science uh, in laboratory science. We go back to the good old days 20 years ago. Um, you know, the technology wasn't at a place where it was so complicated. Individuals rose to prominence in their own laboratories by doing work that wasn't questioned really all that much until others tried to replicate it. And it would take decades, really, for something to get to the point where you tried in human beings. Now we're in a situation where uh, discovering a laboratory can be applied almost instantaneously in some cases to human beings. You know, I wonder why you agreed to sit down and go through all of this with us. We want to move forward and not make these kind of errors again. So we're putting in systems throughout the institution to take care of this. You know, this includes first-rate data management so that people can look at the data. It includes involvement of highly qualified statisticians and everything that we do. It's a re-examination of our conflict of interest rules and the way that we enforce them. And there's also a very fundamental look back at the issue of accountability. How do we ensure that things don't just happen in a lab without anyone else knowing?